Good afternoon. I had a great privilege a couple of hours ago of praying uh, the funeral prayers for Judy Neto, an extraordinary lady, uh, part of the home groups and part of the parish, particularly at St. Pius, uh, over many years. I had the privilege uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, of going to anoint her and being with her in the nursing home. And despite all the challenges that that presented, the, the, the illness she had and the struggle, uh, the fact that uh, she was restricted so that people uh, could only uh, uh, one person uh, could visit occasionally and so on. But nonetheless, she remained extraordinarily uh, positive about life and revealed an extraordinary depth of faith. In fact, as I prayed her on that occasion, I had that real sense of being drawn into her prayer. I met a member of staff who was in the home, who in fact comes from a neighbouring parish, and she was saying how she and Judy had found themselves drawn together, united by their faith, and how they'd been supporting each other. It reminds us of the significance of what we come to do. We gather as a community of faith to support each other in prayer, and how we're encouraged to find that great strength that whatever the challenges, whatever the difficulties, uh, the Lord will provide. That confidence in the Lord that enabled Mary to say her yes. And therefore, we begin uh, with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, praise the Lord, the Almighty, the King of all nations. Tell forth his fame, O you peoples, with loud acclamations. His love is sure, faithful his word shall endure, steadfast through all generations. Praise to the Father, most gracious, the Lord of creation. Praise to his Son, the Redeemer, who wrought our salvation. O heavenly dove, praise to thee, fruit of their love, giver of all consolation. Our eyes are turned to the Lord, we look for his mercy. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens, my eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Like the eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. 
Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our eyes are turned to the Lord. We look for his mercy. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song, if the Lord had not been on our side when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God chose us in his Son, and made us his adopted sons. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be World without end. Amen. God chose us in his Son and made us his adopted sons. From the letter of St. James. Brothers, do not slander one another. Anyone who slanders a brother or condemns him is speaking against the law and condemning the law. But if you condemn the law, you have stopped keeping it and become a judge over it. There is only one lawgiver, and he is the only judge, and has the power to acquit or to sentence. Who are you to give a verdict on your neighbour? Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul magnifies the Lord, since God has had regard for my humble state. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. 
He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My soul magnifies the Lord, since God has had regard for my humble state. The will of Christ is for all to be saved. Let us pray that his will may be done. Lord, by your sacrifice on the cross, you redeemed us from the slavery of sin. Lead us to the freedom and glory of the children of God. Be with our Bishop Richard and all the bishops of your church. Grant them courage and compassion in their ministry. Help those who seek the truth to find it. Let them be consecrated in truth. We pray especially for peace in family life and for those orphaned and widowed. Comfort them in your love. May our departed brothers and sisters come to the heavenly city. There with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you will reign forever. We continue to pray for Catherine and for her family. For her family, rather, sorry. We pray, too, for all those devastated, either by wildfires or floods. We continue to pray with Joe for Thomas's well-being and for the well-being of Gerard Smith. Deacon John asks that we might pray for his daughter-in-law who has had a reoccurrence of COVID. We pray with Lynn for her son Antonio who begins a surgical procedure. And for Stephen Venny who tested positive for COVID at the weekend. And we continue to remember Martha and James, Jeffrey and Maureen and Julian and Julia and Joan. And Kate. And Alice, and for Paz and her unborn child, and for Kitty Grant's daughter-in-law. We pray for the peaceful repose of the souls of Judy Neto, of Valerie Howard, who died on Friday. for Chris and for all her family and friends who are grieving, for Gordon who died yesterday, remember too his wife Marjorie and their son also called Gordon, for Elsa whose first anniversary was also yesterday, and we pray with Lillian in remembrance of Oscar who would have been 86 yesterday. We continue to remember Emmanuel, David, Olive, 
Father Albert van der Most, Neville, Andy, Joe, Duncan, Margaret, Anne, Pat, Zeta, Sharon, Paul, We commend the souls of all those who've gone before us, marked with that sign of faith. We pray too for all those who mourn and grieve, particularly remembering parents who've lost their children. Remember all those for whom we've promised our prayers and our petitions. Bring all these prayers to the Father, as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, it is our bounden duty to proclaim you as the light with whom there is no alteration or shadow of change. Enlighten our darkness as we reach the close of this day and in your mercy forgive us our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We come to pray a decade of the rosary. A reminder at seven o'clock that there is the Zoom rosary where we'll join together uh, to, to pray. Um, but meanwhile, on this Monday, on this day of the joyful mysteries, we've reached, I think, week three, which means we reflect on that birth of our Lord. And of course, it is that reflection, that meditation, which is key to the rosary, alongside Mary, considering the extraordinary gift and joy of that coming of the Lord. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Duce Du, Espes Nostra Salve. A Te Carmanus, Exule Filii Eve, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, in hac laquimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loculos, ad nos convete. Et Jesum, benedictum fruntum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 